area. <laughs> it's a horrible day today. It's windy and it's raining. And I'm just thinking, what could I do inside? What would you do if it was a horrible, wet, windy day? Any ideas? Okay, so now we've got uh, the paints ready. I'm just going to do a little bit of background and then we can start to put some of the characters into the story. So I'll do this as quick as I can. I'm just maybe you can start guessing what this might be. I'm just putting in a wee bit back because I need to be a bit more paint. Just to get that wee bit there. Okay. Put a wee bit of this colour down this side. Maybe can't see much of this colour because it's quite pale. But it'll all come together in a wee minute. There we go. So I'm going to paint this bit now, which is much darker. Okay, and it doesn't have to be fancy. Because actually this is something quite old there. Can you see what it is? What I'm trying to make here. A little bit more paint on the brush. There we go. Let's fill that in a wee bit. A wee bit more up here. Take that across. Now I think we can start with one of our characters. So first character is just coming up and his name is Muckle Cat. Muckle Cat lived we old wife what? And here she comes. And old wife what lived with muckle cat. And I'm just gonna put her on there properly. So I'm just using double-sided sticky tape here and I've got little card characters that I've made. Oops, and old wife wants hair go was made just by knotting some wool and then I had a spare piece of material here for her dress. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint on the window there. So I think we'll have maybe some blue curtains on the window. Just make them quite pale. Just behind Muckle Cat there. There we go. And that's their house where they live. Just need to put a little bit more on the door, I think. Now, you can use paint and brushes like I'm using, or you could also use felt pens to paint or draw a story. Yeah, right, so there's our door behind. There, there we go. So, Muckle Cat bade we old wife what? An old wife what bade we Muckle Cat? And a morning, about eight o'clock, Old wife what made p 
porridge in a pot. And here's the pot. So we're going to paint up too. What colour do you think would be good for a pot? I'm thinking maybe black for a porridge pot. So we're just going to give that a wee bit of paint. There it is. Paint that on. There we go. Leave a wee bit of white on it. So, there's the pot. So I'll wife what? Made porridge in a pot. Yeah. But then she went, ah, I forgot. There's no sugar for the top. So Aldwife Watt put on her hat and coat, saying, steer the porridge, muckle cat, till I get back for the shop. Muckle cat steered the porridge, thick and hot. It smelt off a good as it went plop, plop, plop. A winner for it tastes like, said Muckle Cat. So he took a spoon <laughs> and tasted just a wee drop. So we've got the spoon here and there it is. There's the spoon. Mmm, <laughs> aye, that's right, fine. I think I'll hear me another wee drop. So Muckle Cat is eating the porridge. That's not very good, is it? So I think we maybe need to... a little bit of colour onto the spoon. So put a little bit of colour onto the spoon. It's kind of like a silvery colour. There we go. Just pop that on there. Now. Muckle Cat's tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. And afore he knew it, well, he'd eaten the lot. But worse than that, he ate the porridge pot. Oh my goodness. Old wife Watt was back with the sugar she had bought. And Muckle Cat was in trouble. But he didn't want to get caught. So he ran down the path. But old wife Watt said, stop. We'll, we'll know, muckle cat. Tell me, who you got so fat? Well, my tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. So I tried the porridge thick and hot. And afore I can't, I'd eaten the lot. But Fitzmere, I ate the porridge pot. And just with that, his tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. And new old wife, what? I'm going to eat you. And he ate it all up. Oh, that's better, said Muckle Cat. Muckle Cat decided to go for a walk. So he sauntered down the street to the shoemaker's shop. He mended the tops and bottoms of shoes. His name was Top and Bot. And there he is, top and bot. 
He's got a pair of red shoes that he's mending. And this is his bench and one of his tools. So I'm just going to put a wee bit of colour into that. So here's one of his tools here. And we'll put a wee bit of brown on the handle. There we go. And we're going to put a bit of colour into his workbench. There we go. There. Let's put a bit of colour there so you can see the shape of it. Right, and I think we can put a little bit of colour on his face as well, just here, a wee bit of colour on his face, he's got a beard, there's his neck, and his hands working hands shoe top and bot seeing muggle cat we his full belly strut he laid doing his tools come out and said stop we'll we'll new muggle cat Tell me who you got so fat. Well, my tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. So I tried the porridge, thick and hot, and afore I can't, I'd eaten the lot. But Fitzmere, I ate the porridge pot. Then I ate old wife what? And just with that, his tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. And knew, top and bot, I'm going to eat you. And he ate them all up. Muckle Cat said, Oh, that's better. <laughs> Muckle Cat waddled. He'd eaten sick a lot. To the park knew he struggled to find a spot. To sit himself, June, but here's the upshot. Did he nae meet up? We all sought your sprot. And here we have. Al Sodger Sprout. Just going to put him into the picture. There he is. He's got his green raincoat on. And as you can see, his back's all booed. He's got a wiggly woggly walking stick. And he needs a wee bit of colour as well, doesn't he? We'll put a wee bit of colour in his face. So we'll put a wee bit of colour in his face. There we go. Bit of colour there and under his chin and his hands. There. I'll soldier sprout. He shook his stick. Sign shouted, Stop! <laughs> we'll, we'll new muggle cat. Tell me. Who you got so fat? Well, my tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. So I tried the porridge, thick and hot. And I thought I can't, I'd eaten the lot. But Fitzmere, I ate 
the porridge pot. Then old wife what? Shoot up and bought. And just with that his tummy went rumbly, 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 thump. And now I'll sod your sprout. I'm going to eat you. And he did. He ate him all up. Oh, that's better, said Muckle Cat. Muckle Cat curried doon on a bench. A E shut. Well, he can't eat done wrong, but he didn't care a jot. Then he noticed there, pecking, five doos in a flock. In come and stuck his neck out, just a jot. Then the leaves started cooing. In flew up and said. Stop! So there we have five birds in a flock. So I'm just going to give them some colour. Maybe a little bit of that colour in that one. Uh, there, and then I'll add some other colours. are dues five dues in a flock there we go the dues are a kind of grey bluey sort of colour but we do not have to hate perfect colour matches with things you can make them any colour you like there we go Make this one a wee bit darker. Because birds are all colours, aren't they? Though dews tend to be sort of grey blue colours. And just do this one here. Get it in the picture. Five do's and a flock. Wheel, wheel, new muckle cat. Tell me who you got so fat. Well, my tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. So I tried the porridge, thick and hot, and afore I kent, I'd eaten a lot. But Fitzmere, I ate the porridge pot. Then old wife what? Then shoe top and bot. Then old sodger sprout. And just with that, his tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. And new five do's in a flock. I'm going to eat you. And he ate them all up. Oh, that's better, said Muckle Cat. Muckle Cat couldn't move his stomach in a knot. But he managed to brack win, a relief to his gut. Sign he heard seven maids singing, just out of earshot, hour by the loch. So he joined in his wyote, but in the last he started laughing at him and said, Stop! And here we have seven maids in a ring. I'm going to pop them up there. Now, I need to just put a wee bit of colour into that picture. So they're all on their knees in a little circle. And 
and they're singing. I'll maybe give her a blue dress. There we go. And Muggle Cat thought he could join in the singing. But maybe he couldn't sing very well. Different shade of green on the bottom of this dress. There we go. And what's a pink dress? Looks nice. We'll have a pink one up here, will we? Nice and light pink. But as I said before, you can make them any colour if you're going to do the story as well. You can paint things any colour you like and maybe we'll just make this wee bodice here pink. There. There we go. Seven maids in a ring. Wheel, wheel, new muckle cat. Tell me who you got so fat. Well, my tummy went rumbly, 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 thump. So I tried the porridge, thick and hot, and I thought I can't. I'd eaten a lot. And Fitzmaier, I eat the porridge pot. Then I eat old wife what? Join in. Shoe top and bot. That's right. Old soldier sprot. Old soldier sprot. Five do's in a flock. Oh, and just with that his tummy went. Rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. And new. Seven maids in a ring. I'm going to eat you. And he ran and he ate them all up. Oh, that's better, said Muckle Cat. Muckle Cat thought knew it was time to gang him and try to face up to fit he had done. But at the eye of the loch, he broke into a grin. It was that daft, posh wifey with her milk-white skin, swimming and skirling in a voice. Posh. She said, Stop! And I've got her here. And I painted her yet. I'm going to pop her onto the picture. There she is. The posh wifey. Swimming in the loch. I'm going to paint her in a wee minute. I'm just going to tell you what she said. She said, Well, well, now, muckle cat, tell me, did you get so fat? Well, my tummy went rumbly, 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 thump. So I tried the porridge. Thick and hot, and I thought I can't. I'd eaten a lot, but if it's mere, I ate the porridge pot. That's it, join in. I ate old wife what? Shoe top and bot. Old sodger sprot. Five do's in a flock. Seven maids in a ring. And just with that, his tummy went rumbly, 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 thump. A new posh wifey in your white skin. I got to eat you. And he did. He ate it all up. Oh, that's better, said Muggle Cat. Well, we're just going to paint... The wifey in her white skin. 
So these, of course, are waves. So we're just going to give them a wee bit, touch of blue, these waves in the loch as she's swimming. There's lots of people go swimming, wild swimming in lochs. Seem to enjoy the cold water. Now we're just going to give her face and her hair a wee bit touch of colour as well. So I think we'll give her black hair. There we go. So hair. It's very well in place, isn't it, for somebody that's been swimming in a loch. we go and put a wee bit of colour on our face. She's got quite a long nose isn't she? Yeah, a wee colour on her face there. Muckle Cat saw that it was getting dark so he tried best he could to break into a trot but a rip roaring sound Pulled him up short. It was the swarthy woodcutter, saw Dr. Scott. When he saw Muckle Cat, what a shock Scott got! He said, Stop! And I've got, here's the woodcutter here, and I'm going to put him into the picture at the bottom there. There he is. And we'll add a bit of colour to him in a wee minute. What we're going to do is we're going to tell you what Scott said, the woodcutter. He said, We'll, we'll no muckle cat. Tell me who you got so fat. Muckle cat said, Well, well, my tummy went rumbly 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 thump so i tried the porridge thick and hot and afore i can't i'd eaten the lot but fitz mayor i ate the porridge pot and then i ate old wife what shoe top and bot old sodger sprot five dues in a flock, seven maids in a ring, the posh wifey in her white skin. And just with that, his tummy went rumbly, rumbly, rumbly thump. And now, saw Dr. Scott, I'm going to eat you. But the woodcutter was ready for Muckle Cat and said, Oh, no, muckle cat, ye canna do that. Scott lifted his axe and sliced open muckle cat and oot tumbled the posh wifey in her milk-white skin. Seven maids in a ring, five dues in a flock. Ald sodger sprot, shoe top and bought. Old wife what? The porridge and the pot. Well, I can tell you, Nina then were very happy with her lot. Muckle Cat went home with old wife what? And she gave him into trouble as only mother ought. Then sat Muckle Cat on her lap and shooed him up, waved a finger in his face, saying, I hope a lesson you've been taught. And he never did it again. So I'll just finish painting Scott, the woodcutter. I'm gonna make his Jumper red, I think. Nice bright colour. There we 
circle. But as I said before, if you wanted to paint this story, or any story, you can choose your own colours, whatever you think. Because I'm sure you've got favourite colours. There's his jumper. Let's do that bit there. And then, do his cap. Make it black. There we go. Yep, and we've done his boots, that's good. Do his hair. I'll give him a light brown hair. Got quite a lot of hair this week, car, isn't he? We go now. Um, maybe just a little bit of colour on his face. Just a wee bit of colour on his face. There we go. Now, and his hands. his top there there we go and of course he's got his axe isn't he so we need to make that a kind of silvery colour there's his axe that he opened up muckle cat's tummy wee and everybody rolled out so now We've got the finished story with all our characters. The story of Muckle Cat and how he was so hungry. Next time you're really hungry, I hope you don't eat as much as Muckle Cat did. Thank you for listening to the story. Bye from everybody in the story. Can you remember who they were? There was the porridge and the pot, shoe top and bot, ald sodger sprot, five do's and a flock, seven maids in a ring, the posh wifey in her white skin, and Scott the woodcutter. Of course, there was Muckle Cat and ald wife what. <laughs>